If you want to buy NCAA Football 11 new on the PS2, you're going to have to pay upwards of $80. And if you want to use, you're looking at about $50. So tell me, how could an eight-year-old game on a second generation console still be worth that much? Well, let's take a look. So if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in college football games. And you've probably heard about Maximum Football 19, which is the first college football game to come to next-gen consoles. While it has some really deep customization, interesting dynasty features, and decent graphics, the gameplay is really rough. So the only other most recent option, if you want to play a college football game, you have to play NCAA Football 14 on Xbox 360 or PS3, which is an amazing game, by the way. But a lot of you old head dynasty and franchise gamers still to this day prefer Gen 2, NCAA Football, and Madden over anything else. The graphics, they kind of still hold up. And the gameplay feels just as fluid back then as it does in recent games. As I'm playing it now, I really enjoy the change of pace and find myself wanting to come back time and time again. But that's just gameplay. The crazy thing about NCAA football on PS2 is the depth of Dynasty and Road to Glory. In Dynasty, there was in-season recruiting, 1AA teams, full player editing, off-season drills, the spring game. You could create a school and so much more. Ironically, you could do way more in your Dynasty more more than 10 years ago than you can right now. And for this, many retro gamers who still have a PS2 can put up with slightly outdated graphics and are still playing this as their main game. NCAA Football 06 and 07 still to this day remains one of the standout games in the series. But right at that time, EA Sports started to develop and release NCAA Football on 360 and PS3. While their major focus was set on adding new features to the Gen 3 consoles, they continued to release an updated roster and team version up until NCAA NCAA Football 11. This makes it arguably the most up-to-date PS2 game on the market. So if you remember in a previous video I made, I dug up my PS2 and NCAA Football 11 and started playing again. I had an old save file on it where I built Texas Tech to be a powerhouse by 2019. I started playing again and started to remember just how much I loved it, as well as felt that the deep attachments to the players I had recruited, signed and groomed to be Heisman candidates, came flurrying right back to me. One other amazingly cool thing you could do was cross save in NCAA Football 11 and bring it to Madden 12, your drafted players. I've got that game as well and we'll upload a video on that maybe soon. So here we are. I'm pouring my heart out for a game that I love so much and really want to play it again. But I'm a bit hesitant to start a series on it for this channel because I'm not sure if you guys would even want to watch. I tried doing it before with Washington State and it did okay uh, and then it kind of fizzled out. But I don't want to do that anymore. Also, I have classic questions such as what team should I be? A one a school or a one double a school would people even like watching me play every game should i play on heisman with a terrible team to have a challenge or start with an already established team and try and redo their history like texas who knows so many questions so what do you guys think should i start a series and really dive deep and commit into it if so what format and team would you like to see all right guys thanks for tuning into this one until the next one we'll see you peace